What's going on everyone? So welcome to another review. Um, this is of course for 365 Days, which is a Netflix movie that skyrocketed the number one slot for quite some time. And uh, my girlfriend had seen him. So those are the two reasons why I heard about this movie. And um, if you guys follow me at Letterboxd, you know I reviewed this movie a little over a week ago. Um, I wrote out like a paragraph or so. And even so, I, I, I immediately after I finished the movie, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna review this movie. Um, so keep that in mind. All I'm going to say is I didn't know the premise going into this movie. I just, again, figured I would see it. Why not? Um, I heard it was bad. Maybe that was one of the reasons why I saw it. But I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. 365 Days is a well-shot movie for the most part. I will give it that. It has solid cinematography. For the most part, I can say that that was something that was consistently enjoyable. Unfortunately, listen to this premise. On a trip to Sicily, uh, a woman is trying to save her relationship, uh, a relationship that is built with a guy that basically he's kind of like a cheat, and she stumbles across and is kidnapped by Massimo, who kidnaps her and then says, listen, I'll give you 365 days, and if you don't fall in love with me, I'll release you, but you have to try and fall in love with me in those 365 days. Romantic, right? What kind of story is this? You know, like, I literally, when I was writing out the premise, I was like, I still can't believe that this movie got made in 2020. Oh, sure, you know, Fifty Shades Freed came out, you know, like, three or three or four years ago. But I thought that was the end. I was like, I figured, I was like, there's going to be no other movies like that or no other movie that would have the running for those kind of, like, bad movies. And then 365 Days comes out. I mean, this is a movie that makes Fifty Shades of Grey look positive in terms of relationships. And that's kind of, like, scary. Because, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy, at least Anastasia, played by Dakota Johnson, at least she had relatively a choice. You know, she did sign a contract through all this, so she knew what she was getting herself into. By signing this contract, don't get me wrong, I think the whole contract thing, I think it is problematic. But bear with me with me explaining this. At least she had that choice. She had the choice of, you know, being in this relationship or not. Even though, again, Christian Grey is very creepy, 365 days, she doesn't have a choice. So there's no real development or motivation to this other than just watching this creepy guy try and make her fall in love. And it's like, what are the choices she have? She doesn't. She doesn't have any choices. And it's like when a character doesn't have any choices, it makes things for quite a bland experience. Sure, sometimes in a story, you have characters where it's like, you know, it's fate. It's meant to be like this. But when you have it like this... There are issues to be had, especially when the character succumbs to the guy in this movie. I think it's a movie that is quite offensive, you know, and problematic to boot. Um, if you're watching this movie just for the sex scenes, I hate to say it, but I do think that you're in for a rude awakening because the sex scenes aren't even sexy or well choreographed, honestly. For the most part, it is bland in its approach. Very vanilla. Don't get me wrong, there's a scene where it's like, never mind. But there isn't really much to it. It's very... Uh, sex scene 101, in my opinion. And the funny thing is it's going based off that. Like, a lot of people are going to watch this movie because of that. But those are the scenes that I thought weren't well shot. Every other scene I thought was, but those are the scenes I really didn't think were well shot. It also doesn't help that it's blaring music. I mean, the soundtrack of this movie really hits you over the head. It's like, we are trying to be Fifty Shades of Grey. It's like, okay, okay, I don't need to know that, though. And this movie is just a blatant ripoff of that. And it's kind of ironic because... Someone actually wrote in my uh, my comment section on my letterbox review that apparently the author was inspired by Fifty Shades of Grey, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, what's kind of said is also this movie is directed by a woman, and there's not like there's nothing really special about the directing. In fact, the directing is very problematic too because of where the characters go from point A to B to C. The director is the one that's leading the charge with that, and where it goes at the very end, I was like. You gotta be kidding me. Why does every movie try to set up a sequel these days without being able to hold up on its own? That's this movie in a nutshell. It's setting up for a sequel for an ending that is very anticlimactic. When it ended, I was like, are you serious? Are, are you for real? So overall, this movie, the chemistry, it's not there between the actors. The sex scenes are very bland. You know, the movie is well shot for the most part, but it has a story that is hampered by bad choices and directing um, and just plot points overall. Um, 
you'll leave this movie wondering why you watched it, especially given the fact that it leaves everything out on a cliffhanger. And yeah, 365 Days, keeping it short, I thought it was a terrible movie, and I'll be giving it a 0 0.5 or 5 star rating. So, no hot sauce rating. Um, but guys, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on 365 Days. Again, I consider myself a very open-minded uh, individual, especially on this topic of sex with what this movie has to deal with. But how this movie handles it, it's very backwards, man. It really is. But listen, if you liked the movie, or even if you didn't like the movie, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I am curious to hear them. And um, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching with the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, get you guys later.